Alrighty people, I am taking the battery from the Integra. That is never a good thing, so you guys are in for a treat, because um, I'm going to be using this battery for something that I've just bought. Alright, so I have just been down to the house where the car is. It's actually not far from my house. I've tried to buy the car once before, but I believe it was at the, the person's son's house. Um, they didn't want to sell it then and they're actually selling the block that the car is on at the moment um, and so they have to get rid of everything on the block so I approached them and uh, we agreed on a price and now I'm on my way to go pick it up uh, it it runs apparently I haven't seen it run yet I have a battery with me because the uh, battery got stolen out of it apparently um, it's carby it's automatic so the carby he said the choke doesn't work uh, I'm not sure why um, but I'm on my way now to chuck a battery in it see if it starts and uh, we should be able to take it home and uh, get to work on it. Actually, if you want to go for a walk... Okay, it seems idling well now. Just had to get it started. Uh, the choke doesn't work, so brake and pipes cleaner in the intake here. And uh, she fired up. As you saw, we had to rev it up a bit to keep it idling. And then, yeah, now she's idling by herself. All right, you legends, take a look at the interior I'm sitting in right now. We have bought the car. I'm not showing you anything yet. This is me driving it. It runs, it drives. Is it air fly? No. Is the speedo bouncing up and down? Yes. Better clear the brakes off. Oh, they feel... Very, very, very clogged up. Wow. Oh, we've done, we've done it. We have officially bought another car for Valve House. So I'm going to quickly drive this thing home um, and then we can get to work on it. All right, so I don't know if that's going to stay there, but we should be able to get going in this view. Blinker works. We are officially driving. I wonder if it's got water in the washers. The speedo is bouncing up and down. It's bouncing up and down, but we're moving. We are moving. I can't see anything out this mirror. The windscreen is so foggy. Um, this is sick. It actually drives really smooth. It drives really smooth. This is so surprising. The gearbox is so nice. Brakes are average, but the gearbox is, oh, nice. We'll turn it in here. That's how quick the drive was to my house. It feels okay. Brakes feel terrible, but <laughs> we're, in, we're in the car. It's driving. So I purchased this car for $500. So uh, let's take a look at the car I've bought. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I, I can't tell you what year model it is. I think it's a 90. I think it's a 90. Um, I don't even know what badge it is. It's a GL. I know it has power windows. Um, it's automatic. It's carby. It's making a horrible rattle there. Here she is. She was registered not that long ago, believe it or not. Um, but it sat for a long, long time. Here it is, my new ED sedan. Taking a look inside the car. Yep. A look at that. That is feral. And it, believe it or not, it was 10 times worse than this. It was way worse and we cleared, me and the uh, the dude at the house, the older guy, he was an older gentleman. We both cleared out the entire car. It was filled with shit. Filled with it. But it is, here it is running. I'm gonna turn it off because it's carby and I'm gonna turn it back on to see if it starts. All right, so this should be a warm start. I might have to use my accelerator here to get it started. Here we go. Oh, it's alive. Listen to her purr. Got a nice rattle. It's got a nice crack here. The horn works. What else works? Oh, there they go. The hazards thing. The hazards work. I wonder if this works. Oh, my God. The, the stereo works. I have no idea how to work that. I'm too old for this. I mean, I'm too young for this. This stuff is ancient. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> so there's the, oop, get it focused. There's the model, it's a 1989. I stand corrected, it's not a 90. It's an ED3, it's a sedan, and it has the D15B4 with the dual carbs. All right, so this is like an unboxing new car video, but on my crusty 1989 Honda Civic. Oh, these seat covers are absolutely filthy. Let's see if I, oh, look at the dust coming off them, that's feral. Oh, that's disgusting. Yuck. 
there's more proof that it's the GL model. I'm gonna try and pull this steering wheel cover off here. Yeah, it feels very attached. The steering wheel's actually good. Barely even worn. I mean, the thing only has 190,000 Ks, so pretty impressive. I think, um, I'm not correct, and I'm correct. Yeah, it's got, this one's got AC and power steering, I believe. Power steering and air conditioning. So I started to clear out that floor there. I got the floor mat out here. I took a load to the bin already. It was absolutely disgusting. Um, but now I just have some extra stuff that was under the seat on this side. Then I'll bring the vacuum out. I took the dash mat off. The dash is in amazing condition, um, funnily enough. So if you're going to leave your car um, sitting for years and years and years, please put a dash mat on it. Um, so I'm gonna bring the vacuum out and start sucking up some of this filth. So the time has come to give the car its first wash, so we're gonna hit this car with some clean water and not rain water in the first time in God knows how long. So let's give it a nice bath um, and see how good this paint is. Obviously not very good, but let's see what, what the dust is hiding. So here she is after the first wash. The uh, camera makes it look a lot better than it looks in person. It's got water all in the bonnet, so it looks shiny. It's not shiny, but um, it looks shiny in the, in the video. The roof is all still the same. I mean, it tidied up a little bit better. It's pretty straight, but yeah. That's what she looks like after the wash. So my brother who has this uh, nice looking EK over here has actually donated these to the cause as he is going to be contributing to this build as well because we're doing a valve house track car with this car. Um, so it's gonna be Will and I and then my brother Miller who's also contributing to the build. Um, so he's donated these wheels and tires for the car. Uh, they're 16 by sevens. I can't even think of it. I think they're like, they're reps, but I can't remember what they're reps of. Um, but they have pretty much new tires and they're gonna look a hundred times better than this rubbish on this car here. Um, I also have some of the spaces on there that we might use, but probably not because this car is a lot skinnier and narrower than uh, the EK and DC chassis. So yeah, we're gonna chuck these wheels on now and see how she looks. So I actually forgot to wash down here, but as you can see, the interior is a hundred times better. Um, it actually looks pretty clean in here now. Uh, it's nowhere near perfect by any means, but it's a lot cleaner than it was considering when I actually looked at the car, there was shit in the back up until about here. It was disgusting and it was just feral. Everything was feral. So cleaned up well, um, yeah. So actually the reason I bought this car is we're going to be using this as a track car. So there's a cup that runs locally that's called the D-Series Cup. Um, and it's a competition for all cars with D-Series engines. So um, we're going to be entering this rig, I guess you could call it in there. So um, the plans are not to keep this engine in at all. We're going to be getting rid of the carbureted engine and uh, there are talks of a different D16 getting put in. However, we will not disclose which D16 until the time has come and we can tell you that it's actually happening. Um, but everything in, is in plan right now when this video comes to you. So if you've got any suggestions, if you know how to make these cars handle better, uh, on the track or give us any advice, leave them down in the comments. Um, it's gonna help us out, you know. We are building our first track car. We've built three cars, never a track car before though. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be the build of this car. So stay tuned on Valve House's channel uh, and we'll have plenty more videos of this car coming and the engine swap and everything to do with it. Thanks for watching this episode of Valve House.